Hey everyone, Sonic Motorsports. Sonic Motorsports, welcome back to part two. And that's what I needed. Flat plated screwdriver. Adapt. Alright, so let's uh pick off where we left off, eh? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the flat bladed screwdriver and then just tighten everything down. Well from the cone to the arm. So then that's good. And then I can adjust from there. <clears throat> home stretch, guys. Home stretch. Okay. So that's good. Alright, so now we move to <clears throat> where we actually want this intake to just sit and chill and I think right about here will be pretty good <clears throat> okay. and tighten everything down now I'm tightening on the lower end of the the intake charge tube making sure she's all honky dory <coughs> here we go I don't know if you can see it but here you go intake charge tube and I'm gonna get it tight enough so where I don't have no air leaks no nothing <coughs> and everything's good I think I'm pretty much there pretty taunt pretty tight but I do want an air like a leak free seal <clears throat> almost there okay we're good <clears throat> I don't want to strip anything that's the last thing on my plate I want to strip all right all right so now we position where we want for the elbow. Okay. About there. Mm. Hey, she torqued. Double checking, make sure everything's good. Elbow's good. All right. So now we have to fit the housing up. But before we do that, we got to put on the final piece, which is this bad boy. Well, we actually actually this is the second final piece. So this bad boy goes on like this. If it ever wants to get in there. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Oh, she took a little bit. <clears throat> okay. And she's locked down, kind of. So we got plenty of room to adjust. So we take our two 10 mil wrenches and we start wrenching. So, right where I want it. It's going to be right about here. Okay. Uh, suck everything up together. Uh, okay. That's 
good. Okay. Don't want to over tighten, but you want it tight enough. <coughs> you don't want stuff moving around. Everything looks pretty good. Now you adjust where you need stuff. Give you a bird's eye view here. Excuse me. <coughs> I put my 10 mil here on the inside. I got the other 10 mil on the outside. <coughs> Upper first, then lower. Upper's done. Now we go to lower. Oh, my fault, guys. Just being a little pain in the butt. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while. Okay, that's tight. You just double check the tautness. She ain't going nowhere. She is solid, guys. Good. Double check, I'm sure that's good. Last part is your mass airflow sensor. Now this could be a little tricky. You gotta be careful, take your, you gotta have patience. So what we got here, we got two, two and a half mil. Anyways, this is for me, two and a half millimeter uh, Allen's, which is not the greatest thing in the world for a mass airflow sensor, but, but so be it. So let's get the mass airflow sensor out. Okay. So gently, ever so gently, put it in. Okay. Make sure that the seal is good. Careful not to damage anything. And she's being a pain to me, as usual. Okay, I might have to get a tad bit of oil on this. Sometimes you gotta have to kind of throw some tricks into this. Sorry, wind took a bag. <laughs> Alright, so when you run into this situation, pull out your mass airflow sensor, take the oil around the outside part of the ring, then you're going to kind of want to get your ring just a just enough don't want to go crazy you want it to be able to sit flush inside the housing <clears throat> okay <sighs> see <sighs> this is why I hate I got it. Okay. We gotta hurry before it decides it wants to come off. Feel around. Just start it.
get it pretty much right to the base. Okay. Lower one, tip trick. My fingers want to work, it's so damn cold. Okay, she's in, and I just work her in. Okay. Sometimes you're gonna have to kind of get creative so things don't pop out on you. Okay. <sighs> now I gotta go extra slow because the right where the angle is is just not viable to do it yeah there's no way I can get in there okay sometimes it's just gonna have to work slow and yeah now when you get to that I have to kind of torque it down a little bit so that way it doesn't pop out on you Overstrip it. You don't want to strip it at all, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys. It's been some trials, <laughs> but she's in. So just double check. I always want to do a quick shakedown, make sure everything's good. Elbow's good, cone's good. Make sure this is good. Your your um, evap, and I think we're good, guys. So stay tuned for part three, which is the test and tune. Have a good one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.